I'm Dan from uh, the Lynchburg Times and mylynchburg.net. I'm here with Timothy, who is the chef at the Stony Badger on Old Force Road here in Lynchburg, and Bert, who's the owner. And this food's amazing. So we came down here, we did a photo shoot, so I conned these guys into sitting here and tell us a little bit about it. First of all, you used to work here uh, as a, what, what was uh, your? I was a bar, bar manager of my puppies. Okay, and, and that was a, a former place in the same yes, spot. So you knew a lot about um, building and uh, things the, we had to do. All with the ins and outs. Yes. And then you uh, came along when? Um, I've actually, I helped them out occasionally in the kitchen for about two years or so. Mm -hmm. Just mostly like on uh, Sundays when they'd be cranking out more chicken wings than anybody wanted to see. Now tell me, okay, here's some stuff that we shot, and, and right next to this video there'll be a slideshow with the stuff, but I see there's like a steak with, well, one of the things that impresses me, obviously it's beautiful, and, and our team, uh, sales team's here, and they volunteered to come and help with the photo shoot, and they brought forks. Um, so anyway, one of the things that impresses me is, is the local stuff. You're, you're big on local. You said it's kind of like you don't know what's going to happen in two weeks because it depends what's at the farmer's market. So tell me, exactly. tell me like the, the cheesecake you make with local berries when um, you can. Yeah, the cheesecake, I, uh, especially during the summer months, will be uh, almost all the time will be a, lo a locally uh, grown berry of some sort. Um, I've got it described on the menu as a berry and white chocolate, and I've left the berry kind of vague so I can use what's available. Mm -hmm. um, in the winter months, obviously, it's a, it's a little push to get local ones, but I have also um, cobblers that I use, uh, local local fruit in the cobblers. Um, I do try to put um, some different vegetables and whatnot throughout the menu that are locally prepared. Uh, most of the breads we, we use in-house are um, from two different local bakeries. Uh, one's out of Charlottesville, and uh, the other's is Martin's, which is, I guess, more regional than local. But they're uh, they're also, you know, they deliver two or three times a week, depending on which one. You don't see homemade desserts in a lot of places. I noticed one of the things that, that, that this nacho, mm -hmm. I, I'm not even sure what is this. <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> it's a tricolored chip, corn chip nacho. It's got um, a chili mole, which is uh, kind of a traditional to uh, Oaxaca, Mexico. Right. It's got um, coffee and chocolate in it, which is um, very unique. Uh, you don't find that very often anywhere. Um, the, the flavors are very subtle, but there, there's a lot of different complex notes to the to the chili that um, I think everybody can identify with. And the uh, the relish is a zucchini relish that's on top. It's actually uh, that's my version of a pico de gallo. So. He's a walking advertisement. <laughs> um, he knows it all. <laughs> then we got the steak here, and it's unusual because it's got, I thought it was a blue cheese topping, and that is part of it, but tell me. Um, it's a, a blackened, um, a Cajun-style blackened steak with uh, with a spinach artichoke dip and blue cheese crumbles. That uh, We finished that part in the oven to kind of get a nice melt to it. Got to um, see the onions and stuff, and what? how do you season the potatoes? Uh, the potatoes are um, garlic and parmesan, predominantly are the flavors on them. And uh, yeah, obviously salt and pepper, some nice Italian herbs in there, uh, parsley and basil. Okay, and you got into, you, you uh, I guess you saw an opportunity, it was available, and you had a relationship with the owner of the building. Yes. And so uh, this is the first one you've owned? Yes, it's the first restaurant I've owned, yes. I've always uh, worked in restaurants my whole life. Uh, management, uh, bartending, waiting, mm -hmm. worked in the kitchen. I've kind of worked everywhere in the restaurant business. So you started, you learned every step of the yes. way. Yes, yeah, I started uh, fast food when I was 16, so moved on up from there. And you have, let's talk about, uh, the food obviously is great, and that's the, the cornerstone of any restaurant, but you have a bar here, and yes. you have, uh, I guess down the road, you're probably, this place has a history of doing weddings and special events mm -hmm. in the back, and you're looking to do that in season. Yes. And then you have some entertainment. Tell me about that. Uh, we have bands right now every Wednesday and Saturday night. Uh, we try to bring in a lot of local guys. We're working on more national bands for the future. Uh, we'll definitely be able to use the outside deck. We're working on a bar out back right now for the for the summertime out there, so people can have fun out there and you know, have special events or whatever. They, you know, we're willing to suit whatever we can to get out there. You know, so local are, ingredients, local bands, and I can tell you, um, everyone here is nice that I've met. Uh, I think that's. Is that James, right? Yes. He's a good guy. The bar, everyone I've met is, is super nice. And uh, it was a pleasure to meet you guys. We're on Old Forest Road and uh, at the Stony Badger. Yes, Can't sir. miss it. And uh, so we hope you guys come check it out. Thanks for watching.